Well, for more than a century, Harley Davidson has built not only motorcycles and brand loyalty, but a complete lifestyle all built on two wheels. Tony has more on this American icon in today's Behind the Wheel. Yep, just two wheels, but oh, so much more. We're here at the World of Speed Motorsports Museum in Wilsonville, and we're talking Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson, you know the name, but what is it that really makes a Harley a Harley? The first thing that comes to mind is the sound. That's their, that's their signature, is the sound. And of course, there's that irresistible sense of style. The same bike that you saw Marlon Brando ride in the wild one, the same bike that Elvis Presley rode. It was this big bruiser, had a big heavy front fork assembly, just a massive, powerful looking bike. Hardly got its start in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. In fact, this 10 by 15 shed is where William Harley and Arthur Davidson built their first bike and from those humble beginnings launched a global empire. This year they celebrated their 115th anniversary. Harley rolled out their first V-twin engine in 1909 at seven horsepower and a top speed of 60. It was the first in a long line of motorcycle engines that would set the company apart. Engines with names like Flathead, Panhead, and Shovelhead. And the Knucklehead is what cemented Harley Davidson forever in history as this iconic, powerful road cruising bike. But it hasn't always been open roads and wind in your hair for Harley Davidson. During the mid 70s, they had a change in ownership and a dip in sales. But by the mid 80s, they turned that around. They took a lot of the new technology that was being developed and they put it into this new bike. It was a completely new platform. Industry wide motorcycle sales are declining. <laughs> Harley is having to adapt to a new generation of riders and competition from other makers. But regardless of what the future holds and whether or not you ride, the Harley Davidson story is one we can all appreciate. We celebrate the motorsports history here at the, at the World of Speed Museum, but we also celebrate American history. And, and this is truly an American story. I'm Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. You know, so interesting. You see somebody ride up on a motorcycle, and you go, oh, hey, that's great. You see somebody ride up on a Harley, and you yeah. go, oh, that's yeah. cool. Whole, it, it is. It really is. And, and they're parked somewhere. Still. People go up. They're yeah. looking at yeah. them, checking them out. I mean, it's, it's yeah. a lot of iconic. women are riding them, too. Exactly. And again, I don't ride, but just as like a fan of history, yeah. you can look at it from that perspective. And yeah. that alone, it's, just, it's a wonderful story. It's such a great piece. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, other companies like Yamaha and sure. things like right. that that make rep, you know, they look, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. look like it. They're trying right. to have that look and that sound. But yeah, yeah. Don't start that battle. No, no. Yeah. You'll be on Facebook they're, all right? day. Yeah, they're trying. Well, that's why no. I avoid that Facebook thing. He's sticking uh, with his bicycle. But, but yeah, the other thing that's, that's cool that I like about them is that sound oh, yeah. is actually almost a safety feature. Right. Because you can, you can coming. hear them coming, yeah. and good so point. it makes it a little bit better um, for, for the safety. That's yeah. why I just yell on my bike, Ah, oh, look out! <laughs> 